Hey, this is Jeff Bat with Kinetic Media, and welcome to part eight of the jQuery Mobile and Dreamweaver basics. And in this section, we're going to be talking about collapsible blocks or sections, ways that people also may call them accordions or something like that. Um, and so it's way to, to ways to take content to make it collapsible and to have uh, the learner be able to, or the, uh, the whoever's using it, be able to tap on it to expand what uh, content is inside of there. So we're going to be talking about how to use those inside of Dreamweaver, how to just make your own rather than uh, using the Dreamweaver button, or how to um, how to modify them a little bit as well. So we're going to go ahead and talk about first of all what is a collapsible block. Now, like I mentioned, a collapsible block is a way for the learner to tap on a button and to expand out content, and the content could be really whatever you want, any type of HTML file. You can have it expanded out. You can have pictures there. You can have videos or or whatever you want there. Now, it's pretty simple to do. You basically take a div tag and then you add the data role collapse equals in uh, quotes collapsible. This makes anything within this div tag a collapsible item. Now, you do have to have an H3 tag in order to, and that, that's basically what becomes the button inside of the header. So you can see here, H3 header. Now we look at the iPhone here, and we see inside of the button is header. Now, anything after that, uh, like this paragraph, is the content, is whatever's inside of it is what's going to be expanded out. So if I have a video tag, if I have an image reference, or if I have anything like that, um, it's going to expand out once I push this button. Now that's a single block. You can also create uh, collapsible block sections. Now this basically is more than one button. So this is really where the accordion view type thing comes, accordion view comes into play. Um, so you'll notice that I have header one or my header one and then I can click on header two and that will automatically collapse the header one uh, content and it will expand the header too. So it's a really nice feature and really doesn't take much more besides taking these different collapsible blocks, wrapping them inside of a parent uh, div tag and naming that data role equals collapsible dash set. And this will basically create a set of blocks rather than just a single block. Um, and then from there, you just go into the different collapsible items, replace content with whatever you want, and uh, go from there. So we're going to come back into other stuff that you can do. But let's go ahead and first of all, go into Dreamweaver. And uh, I'm going to start out with a project that basically is a default project when you're creating it inside of Dreamweaver. And <clears throat> I'm going to go to a page. And so here's my data role equals page. And I'm Let's go ahead and just get rid of the footer. I don't really need a footer right now, but I'm going to focus within this content area. So within the data role content, I'm going to go ahead and just delete where it says content. And then I'm going to come up to make sure you have your jQuery mobile tab selected. If you don't remember how to do that, uh, visit one of our previous uh, videos and you can go ahead and it basically walks you through how to get that visible. And I'm going to go into the data role. <clears throat> I'm going to select my cursor there and then come up to the uh, fourth button to the right. And this one is called collapsible block. Now, if I click that button, what uh, Dreamweaver will automatically do, sometimes it pops up with a, a different drop down box or different items that you can choose. In this case, it doesn't. It just automatically creates a collapsible set for you with three different collapsible items in there. And so uh, if you don't want a collapsible set, I'll show you how to remove that. But now, for now, if I just go ahead and save it, um, let's go into my simulator here. And I'm going to just drag over my HTML file inside of the browser. And I'm going to select page two. And once I've selected page two, you'll notice that now if I select my header, uh, there's my collapsible block. And so if I select header one, header two, header three, it's going to show whatever content is inside of there. Um, and that's how you go. That's how you basically just use the default button inside of Dreamweaver to create a collapsible set. Well, what if you just wanted to create one one block, not a whole collapsible set? Well, you can do a couple things. You can just delete the collapsible set div tag. So make sure you get the ending div tag as well as the closing div tag. And then you can delete the different collapsible uh, div tags that you don't want. So in this case, it's just one. Um, and if I do just one, hit save, go back into my simulator here, hit, uh, 
hit the refresh button and now I just have one collapsible item instead of multiple collapsible items. Um, and now I could even, if I wanted to, just add another collapsible item. But you'll notice the difference here, <clears throat> if I go back in, refresh it, is it's, there's a separation. There's, and if I expand one item, I can expand the other item, but it doesn't collapse the other ones. If you want it to collapse the other ones, it, all those different uh, collapsible blocks need to be within a collapsible set. So keep that in mind. But this will at least <clears throat> allow the user to expand out whatever parts they want uh, and whatever content they, they want as well. All right, so that's how we get the content ready there. So let's go back in and I'm going to delete one of these collapsible items just so we can play around with just one item as we get to learn this. So I'm gonna go back into my keynote and let's continue talking about the different uh, uh, sections. So in that case, remember we talked about uh, different collapsible sections if you want them to expand and collapse when different ones are, are uh, typed in, then you, or sorry, when different ones are selected, and then you want to make sure that you wrap all those inside of one large div tag, uh, which Dreamweaver does it by default, but you want to make sure it's within that collapsible set. So now let's talk about block themes. Now, by default, you have just the standard theme. But let's say you want to theme different of the, those different options, the different buttons when you select on it. Um, for example, like this, you want the uh, blue content or the blue button and you want the content to have a border around it with a different color inside of it. Well, how do you do that? It's pretty simple actually. You have two different items, different data themes that you can apply. The first one is data-theme equals and then A, B, C, D, whatever the, the standard themes are or if you've created your own. Uh, and that will basically change just the button part of it. Now, that's really all that you have to do. If you don't do that, there won't be any theme to the content, um, but there will at least be the theme to the button. It'll just look pretty much the same as what we already saw. But if you wanted the content to be different, you wanted the data theme to be different, then you apply a different attribute, data-content-theme equals uh, D or whatever letter you want it to do. And that will give your content a nice border around it. It'll have different colors and you can change that to whatever you want. So let's go ahead and apply that to our collapsible block. So I'm gonna come in here and then right after the data role equals collapsible, I'm going to start typing in data dash and theme. And if uh, the pop-up selects or you see the pop-up, you can just select that. And then you can just go through the different themes that are available. Well, I'm just gonna select A for example. And now if I go ahead and Actually, let me go back into my simulator, refresh. You'll notice that now it has the letter A, but the content really hasn't changed. Let's try a different one. So let's say we want B. Go to go ahead and refresh that. And now my my data theme has now changed to B, but again, the content has not changed. So if you want the content to change, that's where you type in the data dash content and you see the dash theme has already changed. So now I can change my, my content, select a letter, go ahead and refresh that and save it first of all. And now if I expand it out, you'll notice the content has now changed to whatever theme it is. So if I come into, let's just play around with this. I'm gonna change that to C here. You'll notice that now I have a nice border around my content. And if this was within a collapsible set, I would have that border on my content as well. And so that's way, that way it just kind of keeps it together a little bit better. Um, and you can change the different aspects of it here as well. So that's how you apply a theme to it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just save that and then I'm gonna go back into our keynote here. So as a refresher to change the theme, uh, you add the data theme, which will change the button. And then you add the data theme, or the theme, sorry, the data content theme and change that to whatever theme you want, A, B, C, D, whatever you wanted to do there. Well, another question might be is how, if I have multiple blocks like this, uh, how do I have one already expanded out? So where the learner sees it automatically, they have the option to minimize it, they have the option to close it, but you want it to already be expanded out. Well, it's pretty simple inside of there. So if you want something like this, where it's already expanded out with all the list items or whatever's inside of there, um, <clears throat> then you add a data dot, as data dash collapsed equals false. 
by default it's set to true but you want to have it set to false if you wanted it already expanded out so let's go ahead and uh, select that or like add that to our content here so right after the theme i'll just go data dash data dash collapsed as i start typing it i can just hit enter and now we're going to say false so now if i go into my content, my uh, simulator, <clears throat> just refresh it, you'll notice by default it's already been expanded. I'll refresh that again just so you can see it's already been ex expanded. Now I have the option to minimize it, but by default it's expanded and you can choose which ones you want to be expanded, which ones you don't. So if I have more than one collapsible item, I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, you can either just delete that collapsible part or you can change this to true. Again, if you delete it, by default, it's already collapsed. Uh, but you'll notice one is uh, collapsed, one is expanded. Now, even if they're inside of these different collapsible items, even if they're inside of a collapsible set, um, one of them will be expanded by default. The other ones will not unless they have the data collapsed equals false attribute added to it. But I'm going to go ahead and delete that part. And now let's go back in and continue. And one other option that comes with uh, jQuery Mobile 1.3, um, so if you don't have the latest code, make sure you update the latest code. But one other option is the ability to add the blocks into a mini format, uh, what they call mini. Now this is extremely easy as well. You do the same thing what you did before. You have the collapsible, um, you have your different items there as well, but there's a new attribute called data-mini. And if this is equal to true, it's going to make the, the expandable part or the button part, not the content, the content will be exactly the same, but the button part, it'll make it at least, I think it's like half the size. And so it's a mini version of it that uh, you can have it smaller instead of having the uh, larger attribute there. So that's really all that you have to do. So if I come into my content and I say, let's go ahead and delete the data collapse faults and let's just add data dash mini now you'll notice that because this is in 1.3 jquery sorry dreamweaver has not updated its code hints to the latest version so uh, you won't get any code hints for this i'm going to go ahead and say true and now if i preview this you'll notice my my button is now a mini format again the content is the same but my button itself is a lot smaller all right, so now let's talk about the block icons. Now the block icons themselves, uh, you'll notice that you can write by default, it's a plus and a minus, but you can change those icons and icon positions uh, to whatever you want. So in this case, you add a data-collapse-icon equals whatever icon it is, arrow D, arrow U, uh, arrow up, whatever icons you basically want to use. So there's two different parts. There's the data collapsed icon, uh, dash, or uh, data collapsed icon, and then you just select what icon it is, and then the data expanded icon. So the icon that shows before it's expanded, and then the icon that shows when it's expanded. And it will automatically toggle for you. You just basically select what icon you want to use for that, and then it will all automatically toggle it. So now if I come into here, let me go ahead and delete the data-mini. And I'm going to add the data dash. So I'm going to go data-collapsed. You'll notice it automatically uh, has adds the uh, quotes, but I'm gonna make sure I do data collapse icon. And if you don't know what icon to use, I recommend going into jQuery Mobile's website, jQueryMobile.com. Click on the documentation, and then under the widget reference, just start typing in icon. As soon as you start typing in icon, select the icon option, and this will give you a list of all the different icons. So you can see bars edit, left arrow, right arrow, down arrow, up arrow. And these are all the different types of icons that you can use. So let's go ahead and uh, use, first of all, the down arrow, so arrow dash D. And I'm gonna paste that right inside of there. And then the next icon, or the next item, is the data dash expanded dash icon equals and then let's go ahead and have that be the arrow U. 
And now if I come into here, let's go ahead and uh, make sure we saved it. Come back into here, preview it. You'll notice the uh, collapsed icon has the arrow down. And then as soon as I expand it, now the uh, arrow icon has it going up. Now make sure you're on jQuery Mobile 1.3 in order for this to work. If you do not have jQuery 1.3, you won't see those icons change because these two items, the data collapsed icon and the data expanded icon have um, are new. So you wanna make sure you have the latest version in order for that to work. But that's how you get icons, but what about icon position? Well, if you want the icon to be positioned, you have to uh, type in the uh, data dash icon pause and choose left right or whatever you wanted to there um, and that way the position you can do right top or bottom and so that will change the position of the icon itself that you can also reference if you go to jQuery mobile's uh, site and then you go down let's just go back to home here let's go to actually let's go to collapsibles Scroll down a little bit until you get to the icons. There you go right here. Icon positioning um, and you'll notice the data icon position and then you can change it to right to left. Uh, whatever you want it to right here on the right or on the left or the bottom or the top are the different options. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go on to the, the last item which is the non-inset. Now by default we had the inset where it had the rounded corners and it kind of had a different uh, padding on the sides. Well, let's say you don't want that. If you want it to be expanded, um, for example, like this, you want it to go all the way to the edge of the content, both or the edge of the the phone or the tablet or whatever your uh, whatever's whatever the uh, the user is looking at it from. Uh, then you want to, there's one small thing that you need to do is you need to change the non-inset. So within this data collapsible item, you need to add a data dash inset equals false. And if you do that, that will um, take away the rounded corners, take away the padding on the left and the right, and it will add uh, the bar the entire way across. And so it's pretty easy to do if I come in here. Let me go ahead and get rid of some of the icons, for example. and the add data data dash inset equals false so we got a couple of code hints there now if I expand this out so again my rounded corners my padding on the left and, and right side go away as soon as I change that inset to equal false and now the, the expanded area whether it's the collapsible set or whether it's just the collapsible single item will all will take uh, advantage of the entire width of the device whatever device is being looked on as well as the content that's inside of it will automatically take advantage of it as well okay well that's how you get started with the collapsible items within jquery mobile and dreamweaver uh, most of this you could add the collapsible set inside of dreamweaver but most of this you have to add um, by yourself inside of the code uh, but those are the different options you can do with the collapsible sets